Days later, the Finn controller came to the sheds. The old bridge has been mended. The workers' trucks have been left there. Peter, Sam, I need you to collect them. Yes, sir. He didn't want to go on the bridge again. When Peter Sam arrived, he saw the trucks on the other side. He started to cross, but stopped. He looked down into the rushing river. Peter Sam was scared. He remembered what happened before. Come on, Peter Sam, the bridge is safe now. But Peter Sam wouldn't cross the bridge. And he and his driver went home instead. We'll pick up the trucks. But if you don't cross the old bridge soon, the thin controller will be cross. Now, Sir Handel had to do Peter Sam's work as well as his own. Each morning he collected the trucks, puffing across the bridge with his heavy load. Finally, the thin controller came to see Peter Sam. If you won't cross the old bridge, you will stay here and shunt trucks in the yard. I can't have engines who won't do as they're told. Sorry, sir. The next morning, Sam took Peter Sam's trucks as usual. Then he heaved and huffed towards the bridge. He puffed so hard that he ran out of water. Bother! Well, Peter Sam was shunting when the yard manager came up. Sir Handel has broken down. We must go and help! They set off immediately. Peter Sam was scared but determined. rolled slowly onto the bridge. The bridge creaked loudly. The river seemed deeper than ever. I must rescue my friend. He chuffed slowly onto the bridge. The bridge groaned as he rolled forward, but Peter Sam chuffed on. Drive a couple 
shackled up and pulled to handle to safety. Oh, thank you. You were very brave to help me. Peter Sam is no longer afraid of the bridge and loves his journeys more than ever. 